You're always there just like a friend Just like a friend There's no doubt about it I'm on my way home I might get where I'm going But I'm a long way from where I was I hear a crowd of angels Welcome to another lesson guys. This is a No uh, Doubt About It by We The Kingdom and this is an amazing song to play. I just love this band. They're just like killing it with the songs and I mean the songs are really good and um, yeah so I'm going to teach you this lesson today and we're going to go through the strumming, the chords, what are we going to do? We're going to do the picking part, we're going to do the verse and the bridge, we're going to do um, yeah all of that. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is we're just going to do a short playthrough where I'm quickly going to go through everything. So I'm just going to give you guys a close up and we're going to do the short playthrough and then later we'll go into detail into the chords and each part. Okay. So for the intro, we've got a G sus4, just a G like this, with a pinky, the index finger there. Add nine and then a G. So that's the intro. You can strum it or pick it. We'll go over the picking patterns later. And then that you do for the whole verse. How does my broken heart keep bringing me back? Until the second last line of the verse. Then we go to the you put your ways there just like a minor friend just like a friend there's no Baseline going boom, ba, ba, ba. I'm not yet where I'm going. I'm a long way from where I was. Intro. From where I was. Okay, that's it. And in the second verse, the half of the second verse, you go to an E minor. And when this life gets hard. And then the last line of the second chorus goes like this. I'm not, not yet where I'm going, but I'm a long way from where I was. Bridge. I'm not going back. I'm not G slash B on the fourth beat. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm amazing to know that we've only just begun. Yeah, we
You can put a D sus4, but sometimes a D. Okay, that's the whole uh, just A minor, using B, C, G, D. That's the bridge. Okay, then we've got the chorus. Again, the last chorus. Exactly the same, it's just got uh, the first three lines of the chorus repeat twice. And then you're done with the song. Okay, so that's it for the short playthrough. Let's go into detail about the song. Okay, so you'll see the chord chart now. Um, G sus4, the first chord looks like this. Ring finger at the top, pinky at the bottom. Remember to mute the fifth string. Very important, yeah? So that you got that nice sound. If you don't mute the fifth string, you're gonna have this sound. Oh, crap. That's perfect. Okay. Then you just add your index finger here on the second string. Make sure to play close to the frets. And then take it off. And then you have a G again. Then G add nine, you just take your middle finger and put it on the third string, second fret. Okay, and then you go back to a normal G. You can add this finger if you want. If you don't want to, you can just stay with that G. That's also cool. Okay, then we've got an A minor chord. Okay, and A minor 7 you can also sometimes use. Just take that finger off. Okay, so it's A minor, A minor 7. You can also play an A minor 7 on the 5th fret. Like this. 5, 0, 5. also sounds nice. G slash B. Now the G slash B we're going to use is this one. Now when I wrote right there, you just take those, it's actually like this. But you can also play it like this. Remember just to mute your top string, especially if you're strumming. Otherwise it's going to be an E minor. So that's very important with the G slash B. Okay, so if you've got that, you can go to C. So we can do this C. Or we can do a C add 9, which I didn't write on the page, but most people know a C add 9 already. So you can use this C if you're picking A minus 7, there we go. G5, that's just basically this G without the open string there. Okay, then we've got G slash F sharp. So this is a nice G to use in the chorus. Okay. And then G slash F sharp, you just put the index finger there on the second fret. E string. Remember to still mute your fifth string. So, so that's that part. And then E minor seven, just the one everybody knows. G slash D is like this. It's like a G, but you only play from the D string. So the lowest note is the D. That's why it's called G slash D. Okay, let's keep going on. We got C at nine here. Now that's yeah, so you can use that anywhere there's a C, you can use a C at 9. This is also the chord we use when you're gonna do that riff at the end of the verse. Okay, then a D. You can use D sus 2 sometimes. And you can use a D sus 4. Okay, so that's it for the chords. Let's go back to G chord. And we're quickly gonna go through our strumming. So our strumming for this song is very simple. It's just a one, two, three, four, five, six strumming. So the only thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And you wanna kind of hold your hand in different places to find out what sounds nice. But what I like to do is to use the bass and to use the treble on the four. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So that's a, it's a very simple strumming pattern. So it's just one, two, three, four, six all the time. And but you don't have to always play the strings. So sometimes you can do like bum. So they are just almost played on one and four. Okay, so you can play one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four. The important thing is just to keep that thing in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay. Um, next up, we're gonna do we're gonna do the picking pattern quickly for those of you who want to pick the song. So the the basic strumming picking pattern you can do something like on Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. That kind of classic picking pattern going up and down so bum 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 everything's got to fit into 
six beats, right? Because that's the meter of our song, the time signature. You'll notice that kind of picking, but let me just do it slowly. Thumb on the top one, and then these two on the bottom three strings. You just go down, down and up. I'm just holding a G chord here, G5. Okay, so that's the one, but you'll see the alternate picking pattern is like this. Or... got more bass notes. Now this is useful for when the chords are going to change quickly like in the chorus. There's no doubt about it. Ah, sorry. There's no doubt about it. I'm on my way home. For those quick chords that are coming in between, you want to use just just three down and then so you're going to go We'll go over that in a second, but that's where that picking pattern comes in. Now, I've noted it on the E string and the D and the G string, but you can easily just take these fingers and put them wherever. You can put them on the two E strings. Or you can put them on the, the second and third strings. Or you can put them on the... What they actually do on the album is they put them on these two strings and they just go... There's no... There's another picking pattern here, the third one, which is a little bit difficult. It's almost the same as the as the first one, but it sounds like this slowly. Let me just turn my guitar like this so you can see the picking pattern here. So you do those two together, then those two separate, and then... Cool guys. So that's it uh, for the picking. And you can do that in the, in the intro, it sounds nice, that last picking pattern. That's just more for the advanced players really to pick that intro. Uh, we'll go over the advanced section in a minute, but I'm just quickly going to go through all the parts with you guys with the strumming. Okay, so for the intro, we've got G, um, one bar, and then one, oh, it's G sus4, one bar, sorry. So for the intro, we've got G sus4, one bar, and then G, and then G at nine, and then G. So each chord is one bar. One, So that's it for the the main part of the verse. You just keep doing that. One bar on each chord, okay? And remember to count your bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then we've got the um, the last line, the second last line of the verse, which goes like, But you're always there just like a friend. A minor. And then... Just like G slash B, a friend. Then you wait a bit, and then you go into the chorus. And the chorus is just like you're gonna on the listen just quickly to the first line. I'm just gonna play it. There's no doubt about it. So it's two bars of G, but in the half of the second bar you go to G slash F sharp. So it sounds like this. There's no. Same thing here. So the the G slash F sharp and the G slash D are like transition chords. 
okay so they come at the end of the bar not on the beat but in the half of the bar so let's just go over that again the first two lines of the chorus there's no doubt about it i'm on my way home i'm back oh i missed that chord there's no There quickly, I hear a choir of angels. Then, here you play G, G slash A, which means you play a G just open like this, but from the fifth fret. It sounds really crap, but in the mix, it sounds cool. Cheering me, G slash B, you know, on. So, cheering me on. I'm not yet. Cool. Then the second verse it starts the same as the first verse, except in the middle you do something else. Imagine me in your arms. To the only place I long to be. This song's really high for me. And when this life gets doing this so you play it, uh, the C like this from the fifth fret open and then you hammer on with the first finger something like that okay so you guys can make your own again okay then uh Excuse me. After the second chorus, the last line of the second chorus is A minor D. Then we go to the bridge, it's A minor 7. I'm not going back, I'm not going back. Amazing to know that we've only just begun. Yeah, we've only So that's it guys, um, that's it, the, the, the bridge is pretty simple, I just use the first picking pattern. So you just gotta kind of uh, listen to the song, practice it and and feel the beats, just remember the beats are the most important thing in this song. Okay, what is next? Um, advanced section, okay, so for the advanced players, you guys can do the piano intro, something like this, so if you've got the G here, then you can do it in C slash G, this shape. Add those two fingers there. So then it's like. So that shape is like. 3302. Three, and then back to G. So you've got a G, C slash G thing. Second time it's a little bit different. Okay, so and and for the verse, verse two, you got imagine me in your arms. The only place I Life gets hard. One day 
minor you put a, a C note in it because that's the note that they sing over the E minor 7 which sounds really pretty cool when this life gets hard one day I'll dance on. so that's just something to keep in mind um, what I'll do with this chorus is I'll sometimes play the E minor over here like that which if you guys know my tutorials I I love the C minor and I love this D as well. C, D, E minor. Anyway, okay, so that's it. There's no doubt about it. I'm on my way. I get back home. I'm on my way. I hear crying angels steering me home. I know there's no doubt about it. No. So there we have it guys, thanks for watching. It's so great that you guys are watching up till this point. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can get private lessons with me every month. And I will then give you focused attention, one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons. Uh, the prices start at about $15 a month for one lesson and till about um, $50 a month for... Uh, okay, cut. <laughs> So there you have it guys, thanks for watching and if you want private lessons to know if you're playing these songs right and if you want to learn specific songs then go to Patreon, you can get private lessons with me there over Skype or Zoom. Um, we've got a bunch of students that we're helping all across the world and if you want to start your, uh, take your guitar playing to the next level then that's really what you need. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad this tutorial was helpful for you and you watched the whole thing. and. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any song requests that we can do, but um, I think we're pretty... Oh, we're going to do uh, Corey Asbury's full album now, and We The Kingdom's full album. Ah, oh, it's going to be awesome. Cheers, guys. Have a nice day. Okay, so now we're going to so... Okay, let's go.
back to you again Sometimes I fall apart But you're always there Just like a friend Just like a friend There's no doubt about it I'm 